Good afternoon and welcome to Kresge Auditorium on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. The graduating class of 2016 welcomes you, their parents, family, and friends to the 19th convention exercise of Traverse City West Senior High School. The faculty, administration, staff, and board of education of Traverse City Area Public Schools join the class of 2016 in extending a thank you to the Interlochen Center for the Arts for again sharing their campus with us. And now, I am proud to present the Traverse City West Senior High School Class of 2016.
Please stand as we honor our country by reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2016. Would the music students please return to the stage at this time, and all others may be seated. I would now like to introduce the Traverse City West Senior High Choir under the direction of Mr. Eric Wandman to perform the song, Friend.
Greetings. Welcome on this gorgeous day. Um, I'm sorry if my voice is a little shaky. I'm sure I sound really crazy nervous, but I'm really excited, trust me. And I'm, I'm crazy, I'm crazy nervous. <laughs> this is just such a monumental day. I mean, we've been through so much together. Uh, most of us since sixth grade, some even earlier, and now we're here. The whole squad, started from the bottom. That was all. Uh, I'm so proud of us. I should just say really quick that it's an honor for me just to be standing here today. I hope I get over, never get over this feeling of just looking out at all you guys. You're so beautiful. <laughs> uh, before I get started, we need to address something very important, very seriously. Look around. All the people here, all the teachers down in front, have been right by your side this whole ride, this whole way, supporting you, loving you, up until this point. And we need to show our appreciation to you. I think they get as much, they deserve as much of applause as we do, honestly. And I mean, this is as much of a graduation day for some of them as it is for us. Um, I got a couple things to talk about today. The past. The future, the present, love, our lives, chapters of a book, you know, how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop, <laughs> why 11 isn't pronounced 21. I mean, that's a legitimate question of mine, like, why? Uh, you know, the big stuff. I'm gonna start with the past. Right now, we're flipping the pages of our books starting new chapters, opening up a future of blank pages and diving into a world unknown. I look at all the glowing faces in this room and I get really excited about the future, but more than that, I see the thousands of memories and moments each of us have shared. One of the best parts about turning the page in our life story is now getting to go back and reread all the pages written. You know, the ones overflowing with the unstructured lines of our lives, filled with the smudged drawings of what once was. The entire pages of words scratched out from moments that are just too painful to recall. And the earmarked pages signifying the elegant poems of the greatest moments of our lives. I flip back through my book and I'm proud and I'm blessed that I can say that my greatest moments are the ones I've shared with all of you. I'll read of broken drumsticks and sweaty band uniforms from a marching band. I'll read of that penalty kick I missed in JV soccer versus Alpina. <laughs> I will never hear the end of that from the guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll read of summer nights, like one stranded in the middle of the lake at 1 a.m. on a dead boat, paddling home, and all the other accidents and mishaps like that that made our lives exciting. I'll read of rain-soaked shoes as I sprinted across Thrillby towards all of you, our roaring student sections glistening under the lights. I'll read of defeating Central in an overtime victory in districts and watching Quidditch going on during halftime. I'll read of stepping off the field my last time ever. I'll read of the way that we came together as a school in response to the Paris terrorist attacks to support disaster relief halfway across the world. I'll read of breaking it down to T-Pain uh, and being thrown in the air during a dan men's dance routine. <laughs> I'll remember breaking the gym bleachers with ringing ears and blotchy eyesight from here on out because I yelled so much. I'll remember being the class that won Battle of the Fans. Yeah, you can, you can. I'll read of lounging in the senior lot on our last day, surrounded by toilet paper and still wearing my painted on bikini after LARPing in the school with all of you guys, my fellow creatures and uh, Rubber wielders. <laughs> I'll read of stepping out of high school as a Travis City West student for the final time. Flipping through my pages, I can see it, and I can hear it, and I can smell it, and feel it all. 
and I can't thank you all enough for making these moments unforgettable. I hope you can all open your own books and smile at all the things each of you have done and what we've done together as a class. So much time has passed by, but it feels like last week I was five, running through sprinklers and rolling around in the dirt. <laughs> I mean, I still do that, but you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's crazy that I used to think of this day and how someday we're going to be graduating high school. And here we are. And time flew by. And now all these things that once seemed like a lifetime away are so much sooner than I thought. Someday, pretty soon, I'm gonna go to college. Someday I'm gonna have to buy a house and do my taxes. Someday I have to pack my own lunch and figure out how much toilet paper to buy. I don't know. <laughs> you know, someday I'll be old, wearing flannels and corduroy pants up to my chest. Yeah. There's a, there's a someday for everything. I thought about it and I realized that if we spend all our time thinking about someday, one day we'll be there. And it will feel as if time disappeared. So class of 2016, I challenge you all to slow down time. Let's make the most of every day we've got on this earth. Live today not someday. If we put the blinders up, looking at our feet, making sure we don't fall on the path to our goals, you'll miss everything going on around you. And someday, you'll get to the end of the path, and it will feel as if the time in between never even existed. So live life now and live it with your head picked up. Live so that five years 20 years, 60 years from now, you can look back and proudly say, wow, that was fun. <laughs> Live so that you'll be able to tell stories that you're proud to tell to your grandchildren someday. Live so that each blank spot on our pages can be filled to the brim with glimpses of life, laughs, tears, and adventure. Slow down the turning pages and do not let your life be dictated by someday. Live in the present, loving and taking it all in. Now is a time of transition as we dive into what can be an overwhelming world. I get really nervous thinking about that. Uh, the, I, I feel a lot of pressure to stand out, to make an impact, to be special. The idea that now is my time to change the world used to really repel me. You know, there's seven billion people on this earth. What makes me significant? Why do I matter? What can I do to make any sort of difference in this world? And for a long time, I thought that meant to do something so that the world knows my name. But I've started to figure out that to make a difference in this world, all you have to do is be good. To look at all the people around you and see them as people born from the same family tree and treat them kindly and be conscientious of others and your actions. Be open-minded, be sincere, and be loving to all the people surrounding you because people don't remember what you say. They don't really remember what you do. People remember the way you made them feel. And if we can live our lives making one person each day feel good, we will be better people, and this class can make the world a better place. This is a crazy time for us seniors, and it can be very easy to get sucked into all the things we've got going on, to lose sight of what really matters, and we cannot let that happen. And what matters is each other our families, and the friendships we've made. The people sitting next to you, they are what matter. Remember, you can never love somebody too much. So, in honor of a magnificent past and all the things we've accomplished, in honor of today, not someday, in honor of love 
and unconditional goodness in honor of the many blank pages of life to come and in honor of what really matters, friendships that live on with us for eternity. Here is my final toast to the senior class of 2016, inspired by the words of my late Uncle Steve Kirby. The time of season is the time of cheer. Beat a glass of Mountain Dew or mug of root beer. Raise it high. Look to the sky and say, my friend, I'm glad you are here. Thank you. off, I just want to take a moment to say thank you. Thank you for that and, and everything. I have wholeheartedly devoted myself to this position of governor and I just hope, I, I'm just, I want to say I'm grateful. I just hope, you know, you guys have made my experience unforgettable and I hope I've done the same for you. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Danielle Priest. Danny, I've been so close with you over the years, and at this time, it is my honor to pass the governorship of Traverse City West onto you because I know the titans of Traverse City West are going to be in very, very good hands. Thank you. say thank you so much Cooper. Um, Cooper has been so inspiring to me over this past year especially. Um, he has shown all of us what true spirit is and how to just come alive in any situation. Um, so thank him for that and I would also like to say that throughout this past year so many irreplaceable friendships and memories have been made. From a selfish standpoint I am honestly very very sad to see all of you go. Um, and as a whole, you guys have been an inspiring group to look up to, but also a ha very hard one to follow. <laughs> um, from student sections to homecoming events and succeeding in the classroom, you guys were always filled with so much energy right up until the very end with your LARPing and running through the classrooms and, I don't know, asparagus on the lawn, like, I don't know what that was, but... Um, <laughs> They, you guys were always so willing to guide and encourage all of us underclassmen to participate in high school events as you guys were only just beginning to realize how truly it does go by in the blink of an eye. This class of 2016 has left myself and the entire body of West Senior High with more desire than ever to carry on their traditions, make them proud, and most importantly, defend their Battle of the Fan State Championship title. We are all going to deeply miss the graduating class of 2016, and we all wish them an abundance congratulations as they embark upon their journeys. As Cooper Kirby once said, I've invested myself to this school and you guys, and I just want to thank all of you for having the most amazing and memorable year ever. Thank you. to introduce Traverse City Area Public Schools Superintendent, Mr. Paul Soma. Seniors for life. <laughs> I knew he was going to be a hard act to follow. Um, I saw Cooper give a speech a couple weeks ago to uh, middle school students 
and he talked about passion. And the theme of his, his speech was, be a nerd. And I thought anybody that can pull off a speech to middle schoolers that says, be a nerd, and it was an excellent speech, I, it's gonna be very hard to follow. Cooper, you topped it today. You're an awesome person, your future's bright, and thanks for everything you've done. So we, we did not talk to each other. Uh, you're gonna hear some of the same themes, I think, in some of my words uh, today. You, you probably have said them more eloquently, certainly with more passion. TC West family members and friends, faculty, administration, board of education members, and, gradu and graduating class of 2016. Good afternoon. It's a fantastic day, and congratulations to you. This is a time to celebrate, and as tradition will tell you, good or bad, it's a time to hear a message from the superintendent. <laughs> You've earned the right to celebrate this accomplishment through hard work, perseverance, help from family and friends. You've learned many lessons along the way and you have established a foundation that will help you as you chase your dreams and pursue your goals. Your future is bright and filled with promise. The world in your hands, I believe, is in good hands. Now I know that the 18 years it took for you to get here seem like a long time, although Kurt, you're pretty wise with how, how quickly time does fly. Um, some of you may have heard of a band from the 1970s and 80s named Pink Floyd. They, they had a, an album that came out, few people in this room may even have the album, it's called Dark Side of the Moon. Statistically, I think everyone in the room has that album. <laughs> There's a song on that album, and uh, lead writer Roger Waters, is that the song is Time. And he was speaking to, I think folks your age, graduates, and perhaps sending a little warning um, when he said, you are young and life is long and there is time to kill today. And then one day you'll find 10 years have got behind you. No one told you when to run. You missed the starting gun. The point there is that how fast time starts to go by and how fast 10 years before you know it you'll be celebrating your 10-year reunion. The reunions come faster after that and every milestone comes with its own set of reflections. I'd like to share a reflection with you as someone who passed his 30th reunion just last year. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, be an opener of doors. The symbolism of the door can be expounded on from many angles, and as you symbolically walk through the doors of your future, some doors close behind you while other doors open in front of you. It's a vivid analogy and one that provides excitement and intrigue for your future. In fact, in many analogies of the door, your choice of what doors you decide to walk through define the life you are going to lead. I'm gonna suggest perhaps, however, that what happens at the doors of your life is equally or more important than the door itself. I think Emerson understood this. Consider what happens at the doorways you encounter every day. People you do not know, or people who do not know each other are forced to interact. Same goes for people who do know each other. What can be avoided in big spaces cannot be avoided at the door. It's a microcosm of humanity coming together. It is a brief moment in which one is forced to be present. No cell phones. You must pay attention to your surroundings or risk personal injury or the embarrassment of walking into an unopened door. What happens at the door, figuratively and literally, can change your life. There was a young teenager in the first weeks of high school attending a Class A high school in an unfamiliar town those early days of high school, as many of you can attest, can be uh, overwhelming and intimidating. As this young man entered the building on a sunny September morning, he could not avoid entering at the same time as one of the most intimidating teachers in the school. The teacher had no idea who the student was. The student, on the other hand, knew very well who the teacher was. He was a very large man with a reputation as a stern disciplinarian and a demanding educator. He didn't seem to be liked by students, and he didn't appear to care. He was someone students avoided when possible. 
As the two entered the building at the same time, the young student opened the door ahead of his teacher and held it open for the teacher to walk through. As that teacher walked through the door, he acknowledged the student with the following words. Thank you, young man. You are both a gentleman and a scholar. These words, perhaps because they were surprising and perhaps because who they came from, stuck with that student. The student walked taller and more confidently through school that day and for whatever reason, was motivated by that moment throughout his high school career and beyond. Fast forward 10 years. That student was three years into a professional career when he came across a job opening that looked like a fantastic opportunity. This young professional would find out later that over 60 highly qualified individuals applied for that job. He was one of six that was selected for the interview and then one of two selected for a final interview. The final interview included a tour of the organization's various departments that were located separately from the executive offices. The young professional, who was 25 years old at the time, was awarded the job as the finance manager for what was, at the time, a $60 million operation. It was the beginning of a career that would see this young man take on an increasing level of responsibility that ultimately resulted in him becoming the chief executive officer of an organization that approaches $120 million in size serves many thousands of customers, and has upwards of 1,500 employees. It has become a career more rewarding and more impactful than what that 25-year-old could have possibly imagined. So, what, you may say, does this have to do with the door analogy? Here's what. After the young man, after the young 25-year-old got that job, he was talking to the secretary of the person directly responsible for hiring him, his boss, in other words, and that secretary, after told him about the two finalists and said that after both finalists had completed their second interview and with her boss leaning toward the other candidate, said, you need to take this candidate. You need to hire him. He opened the door for you when you took your tour of the other departments. We need someone in this position that will open doors for others. So as you may have guessed, I was that person in the story. I know that my resume got me that, that, uh, to that door when I was 25 years old, but it's what happened at the door that secured my job and started me on a path to where I am now. While this story is personal to me and my life experience, it turns out that it's not hard to find where the figurative door opener, it is not hard to find stories like this where the figurative door opener is held in high esteem. God, education, Teachers, love, knowledge, and even the universe are given credit for being door openers, for good reason. Opening doors for others is the noble and right thing to do. It is the recognition and respect that you are able to show others during those brief, unavoidable encounters that demonstrates the type of person you are. I think it's part of Kurt Cooper's message, too, about uh, appreciating all, um, all and showing love to all. Ultimately, being a door opener means you understand that how you get to where you are going is more important than where you go and will create a legacy for you when you inevitably reach the end of your road here on Earth. What more honorable statement about someone at the end of life's journey than this? He or she opened doors for others. So that is my message. Open doors for others. You will make the world a better place, and the world will pro provide you with opportunities you didn't know existed. In closing, know that many people love and care about you. Enjoy this day and your journey through life. Always be safe, and may God bless you. Thank you.
Our musical performances continue to be outstanding. I'd like to thank Ms. Anne-Marie Jones, Mr. Eric Wangeman, and all the students that performed today one more time. <laughs> Superintendent Soma, President Faulkner, members of the Board of Education and Central Office Administration, it's my honor and privilege to affirm that the students seated before you today, the members of the class of 2016, have completed the requirements for graduation set forth by the Traverse City Board of Education and the Michigan Department of Education. It's with great pride that I present the 19th graduating class from Traverse City West Senior High. Hold on, we didn't get to the good part yet. <laughs> Members of the class of 2016 may now receive their diplomas. I'd like to introduce to you Board President Eric Faulkner to accept the class of 2016. Thank you, Mr. Esper. On behalf of the Traverse City Area Public Schools Board of Education and Superintendent Soma, Having certified that these students have met the requirements for graduation set forth by the Board of Education and the Michigan Department of Education, it is with great pleasure and no small amount of pride that I accept these students as ready to receive their diplomas. Congratulations. At this time, it is my pleasure and honor to present to you the individual members of the class of 2016. Amanda Alarcon. Tessa Alderman. Samuel Alexander. Grant Alfonso. Mark Anderson. Kimberly Anderson. Andrea Andrilio Parlapiano. Sebastiano Angelella. <laughs> Lily Ankerson. <laughs> Matthew Ankerson. <laughs> Mackenzie Ankerson. <laughs> Jack Archer. Ashton Ashbury. <laughs> Kaisha Austin. <laughs> Taylor Bax. <laughs> Lisa Biamier. <laughs> Kyle Bailey. Reed Bailey, <laughs> Natalia Bakunats, Cameron Basner, Jada Bell, Jacob Banker. Joshua Betts. <laughs> Eric Birdsell. John Bishop.
Kevin Bishop. <laughs> Olivia Bishop. <laughs> Kellen Blackburn. <laughs> Claire Blada. Nicole Blaken Esser. <laughs> Megan Blanchard. <laughs> Brooke Bostwick. <laughs> Emily Bostwick. <laughs> Brittany Boucher. Brandon Bourgeois. Elise Boydston. Eric Boylan. Dalton Brackett. Delaney Brandt. <laughs> Ashley Brightock. Aaron Brinkeroff. Jennifer Browning. Michael Bryan. Nicholas Brzezinski. Tyler Buchanan. Tristan Ballard. John Bullock. Kaylee Burley. Cole Burns. Natalie Burns. Melissa Bush. Zinzi Kai. Cassidy Calderwood. Caitlin Camp. Emma Campbell. Brendan Cascaden. Dakota Caster. Jacob Cerny. <laughs> Maya Chapel. <laughs> Olivia Chapel. <laughs> Jacqueline Clark. <laughs> Mitchell Clark. Samuel Clark. Brandon Clayton. Curtis Klaus. Tyler Cobb. Austin Cochran. Evan Cochran. Yeah. 
Hayden Comstock. James Cook. Dane Craker. Evan Kramer. Ashley Croft. Bethany Crow. Cody Cruz. Tyler Cipher. Bryn Davis. Sarah Davis. Charlotte DeHaven. Jonathan DeHaven. Wiley Demon. Dylan DeMopin. Megan Denton. Claire Denton Grinchak. David Deary. Stephanie DeVries. Benjamin Deerkin. Maria Diss. Haley Duran. Kirsten Downey. Jacob Draper. Carly Driswicki. Skylar Dunkley. Aaron Ebling. Madison Elliott. Grant Ellison. Patrick Elgren. Cheyenne Emery. Anna Anderson. Jack Ensign. Megan Eshelweck. Garrett Eshelman. Sierra Falconer. Casey Fidoa. Kelton Fecken. Sarah Fenton. Dawson Fewens. Paul Fico. Maria Phoebe. Caitlin Fink. Emily Finkelberg. 
Emily Flynn. <laughs> Kyla Foley. Aaron Fortin. <laughs> Roxanne Front. Amanda Frary. <laughs> Anjan Fu. <laughs> Samuel Fife. <laughs> Jillian Gann. <laughs> Anna Gallegos. Daisy Gamble. Victoria Gowden. Nolan Gay. Rachel Geyer. Brian Guinness. Savannah Giuliani. <laughs> Jessica Gockley. <laughs> Yevgeny Gorvovsky. <laughs> Devin Gorton. <laughs> Trevor Gowdy. Elizabeth Graves. Andrea Green. Veronica Gregory. Megan Griffin. Justine Grosher. <laughs> Abigail Gross. <laughs> Megan Goodeth. <laughs> Zane Gum. Kiara Guchki. Andrew Hahn. Maggie Hahn. Marissa Hammond. Olivia Hansen. Kristen Harrigan. Grace Haynes. Zoe Haynes. Jin Young He. Jennifer Heaton. Samantha Hemming. Jake Hendricks. Carlos Hernandez. Jessalyn Heemstra. Yeah. 
Shanna Hillborn. Taylor Hill. Madeline Hillock. Calvin Hilt. Brett Hines. Holly Hinson Camp. Nicholas Hershenberger. Elizabeth Hocken. Rachel Ho. Madison Ho. Mariah Paminga. Catherine Hornbogen. Vivian Hostler. Jeremy Howard. Amanda Juan. Yang Jing Chong. Jarrett Hubert. Matthew Hutch. Joseph Hughes. William Hutchinson. Haley Hippio. <laughs> Olivia Heise. <laughs> Joshua Eid. Samuel Jacob. <laughs> Nicholas Jean. Courtney Jennings. Benjamin Jewell. Jessica John. Garrett Johnson. Guy Johnson. Owen Jones. <laughs> Mia Youngen. <laughs> Liam Joyce. <laughs> Amanda Cabas. Michaela Cayley. <laughs> Jude Tarot Compete Ran On. <laughs> Faith Karpinski. <laughs> Raul Karoon. Jacqueline Kartsimus. <laughs> A. 
Aiden Kaufman. Lauren Keach. Megan Kennedy. Keegan Kenny. Kylie Kent. Danica Kibbe. Kendall Kilty. Aaron Keesling. Madison Killen. Noah Kindlinger. <laughs> Hannah King. <laughs> Cora Kinney. <laughs> Cooper Kirby. Anna Kittendorf. Grace Kohler. Eric Kalarek. Trenton Kobus. <laughs> Jada Coon. <laughs> Jacob Kropa. Gwendolyn Kuka. Nicole Kutnauer. Brendan Lacherity. Michael Lambert. Zoe Larson. Chase Latka. Calvin Lautner. Sarah Lautner. Delaney Leach. Joseph Leo. Jessica Lee. Lauren Leslie. Paige Lagan. Zanin Lu. Angelina Lowe. Jacob Long. Mia Long. Dallas Laredo. <laughs> Rowan Love. <laughs> Dylan Lund. <laughs> ben
Bailey McDermott. Anthony Majerson. Taylor Malmquist. Brittany Mandarich. Marlene McGrath. Paula Martinez Miguel. McKenna Matson. Alexander Moal. Alin Maxwell. Mitch McAdams. Maxwell McAllister. Nathan McAllister. Ariel McClellan. Sydney McCombs. Kylie McDonald. Mariah McDonald. Taylor McWorthy. Atticus Meyer. Josefina Mendoza. Danny Merchant. Maisha Mateer. Nicholas Meyer. Morgan Mahalik. Jack Mikula. Austin Milks. Clara Mooney Muno. Cecilia Morgan Stern. Cameron Molan. Alexis Moyer. Abigail Moyes. Ryan Murray. Tia Nall. Emma Nance. Ina Naroska. <laughs> Kathleen Nash. <laughs> Brendan Nelson. <laughs> Mary Nelson. <laughs> Micah Nelson. Jacob Newhouse. Logan Nickerson. Matthew Norton. Emily Nunnemaker. Emily O'Leary. <laughs> Olivia, 
Austin O'Rourke. Molly Puchalski. Taylor Hawley. Abigail Paulson. Logan Palowski. Hunter Penny. Shale Perkett. Zachary Perrin. Carly Peterson. Brent Petrosky. Daniel Pfeiffer. Michael Plamondon. Claire Hodges. Talia Pullman. Madison Porter. Tyler Post. Margaret Poster Truck. Michaela Powers. Vincent Priante. Jacob Price. Avery Pulslet. Mason Pulslet. Paige Pulslet. Caitlin Randall. David Ransom. Noah Razone. Kara Rickenberg. Jordan Robbins. Taylor Robbins. Brittany Roberts. Joshua Roman. Michaela Ross. Anna Roth. Jared Roth. Kaylee Rubinus. Austin Russell. Mina Sakai. Brittany Sanderson. Marie Savoy. Cadison Sayer. Abigail Shaw. Kevin Shower. Zoe Schwartz. Yeah. 
Chelsea Schaefer. Allison Shaughnessy. Jacob Sheehan. John Sheehan. Sierra Shepherd. Keats Shoemaker. Corwin Sika. Amy Cyberson. Kyle Sitkin. Sarah Scarshog. Austin Skibowski. Chloe Slack. Paige Smallwood. Alyssa Smith. Caleb Snyder. Noah Springer. Bradley Squires. Caitlin Stasiak. Samuel Stepner. Broderick Steele. Alexander Strickland. Helen Sullivan. Vladimir Seuss. Jackson Sweat. Maya Sravsky. Isabel Shapansky. Jonah Tanis. Corbin Thompson. Alexander Toki. Evan Tolly. Caitlin Tomac. Ezra Town. Bridget Troost. Eric Toomey. Elliot Tyson. Ty Vadabankur. Gabrielle Van Antwerp. Emma Vandermeulen. Sarah Van Sight. Leo Vidal. 
Alex Varelian. Nu Vo. Topanga Wagner. Cody Waite. Kelvin Walter. Jayla Walter. Ellie Walter. Emily Walton. Zachary Watson. Austin Webb. Lindsey Weeks. Noah Weicker. John Wen. Antoine White. Joshua Wilcox. Erica Williams. Isaac Williamson. Mitchell Winnewicki. <laughs> Kayla Withers. <laughs> Alicia Wachtanowski. <laughs> Nathan Wolf. Henry Woodbury. Sydney Woodruff. Hunter Wooters. Jun Kui Wu. Chao Zin Yang. Madison Zenner. Lauren Zeno. William Zimmerman. Emily Sloutro. And our final member of the class of 2016, Zachary Zunda. And now, graduates, please rise. We are proud to recognize you as graduates of Travis City West Senior High. At a symbolic act of your graduation, you may now move your tassel to the right. Congratulations, seniors. Graduates, please follow the directions from the West Senior High staff and recess to the mall at the rear of the auditorium. Parents, family, and friends, please remain until they have exited in your seats. Thank you and have a great rest of the day.